Hey everyone, it's Jamie. Welcome back. So today's video is a Dollar Tree haul and this is some of the Halloween stuff that I have found um, at the Dollar Tree. My Dollar Trees are just kind of starting to get some Halloween stuff in and I'm so jealous of everyone else's because I've been watching some Dollar Tree hauls of everybody showing their Halloween decor that they have found at their Dollar Trees and mine so far. Um, they've gotten a few things in but nothing like what I've seen. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started and show you guys everything that I found. So um, <clears throat> the first thing that I picked up are these wooden, um, they're like signs, I guess, but they're not finished. So you would have to um, paint them or, I don't know, Mod Podge or whatever you wanted to do with them. But they had a couple of different other ones to choose from, and these were the two that I liked the most. And so this one has the um, little jack-o'-lantern face, and then it has the uh, tombstone with the R.I.P. on it. And then the uh, last one is a little jack-o'-lantern uh, face also. And then um, this other one <clears throat> has a skull at the top and then the jack-o'-lantern face again and then another skull. Now I've seen some people and it's, I don't know, a pretty popular thing right now where people are getting these little wooden pieces from the Dollar Tree and then putting them on a t-shirt and spraying bleach on them, which um, that's been around for quite a while. I don't know why it's just all of a sudden started to be a big thing lately, but Anyway, it's still cool though, nonetheless. <laughs> so I found those. And then I found these treat bags with ties. Now I thought, I'm pretty sure this is new this year. Um, I know usually during like Valentine's Day and Easter, they do something similar to this where at Easter time it looks like little bunnies. And then uh, for Valentine's Day, they have little hearts on there. So this is like um, burlap, the bag is a burlap bag. So anyway, I thought these were really cool. So I did go ahead and grab one pack of these. Now it does only include four bags, that's all you get. So, but they are four inches by eight inches. So um, it's a pretty, pretty good thing. But there's all kinds of uh, things you can do with these. Like obviously you can use them as treat bags for Halloween to hand out candy, but um, you can also do like a, a garland or something like that using them. So anyway, I thought these were a really cool find. Now, I don't know if they're going to have any others that are, um, you know, something different that's not a jack-o'-lantern or jack-o'-lanterns are all that they have. But anyway, I thought this was really cool. So I did grab one package of those. Now, I'm not real big on stickers, but I have noticed... I don't know. If it's Halloween, <laughs> I'm a sucker for anything Halloween. But um, <clears throat> I thought these were really cute, though. These are, like, wooden. I guess they're, yeah, they're wooden. They're, they're just calling them DIY stickers, which some of them are uh, plain and don't have anything on them that I suppose you could do, you know, whatever you wanted to. But um, I really, they had some different ones to choose from. I just picked these three. These are the ones that I really liked. So this one has the spider and it says boo. Um, I love that haunted house and then the witch on her broom. I love that. And then this one is just a bunch of different um, skulls, which I'm trying to get that glare off of there. I'm really sorry. But they have um, just some plain ones that you can do any color that you want. I guess these would be like, um, there's a couple of sugar skulls on there too. Like the, the uh, bigger one is a sugar skull. So anyway, I thought those were neat. And then this one is a bunch of different um, jack-o'-lanterns. And these do have a, a sticker on the back there so that you can adhere it to whatever you, know, you wanted to. But anyway, I thought those were really cool. So I grabbed those. Um, now they have these every year. <clears throat> and they are the... Um, solar steak lights and these were I think these were the only ones that my Dollar Tree had out um, I don't know if there's any other ones but uh, they seem to have these 
every year. And um, these solar stakes, sometimes they're hit or miss. Sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. So it's just the luck of the draw, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, I like this one. It looks like an eyeball. And I did make sure that I got the ones that still had that um, little tab right there in it. So, I mean, that doesn't always guarantee that it's going to work, but hopefully it will. And then um, this one is the skull, which I think is so cool. I really like that one. And then I really like the ghost, too. I think this is so cute. But... Um, and in case you didn't know, they do have the um, stake is on the bottom part that you just uh, pull out and then you turn it around and then you add it um, there on the bottom. You just snap it on in there. So this would be really cute for pathway lights if you wanted to um, or even stuck this down in a um, like a potted plant or something on your front porch or maybe... Um, I've seen people uh, zip tie these to their uh, mailboxes. So, um, I mean, that would be cute too. So, anyway, I grabbed those. Um, I did notice they had some, um, these are, they're, they're calling them palm bones. You get 10 in here. But all they are are like skeleton hands. And they had two different ones to choose from. They had these that look kind of green old worn kind of skeleton hands and then they had some that were glow in the dark but um i thought these were creepier looking so i did go ahead and grab one package of those um they have this ribbon every year and um i usually get it every year but i'm out so i thought i'd go ahead and grab another roll of it and i like this one because it's got all different kinds of um, halloween thingies on there <laughs> so it says spooky happy halloween um it's got boo it's got your candy corn your jack-o-lanterns the ghosts spiders this has got it all it's got it all on there so anyway i thought this was really cute actually it doesn't have ghosts on it i could have swore i saw a ghost on there but it does have bats and spider webs and <laughs> but anyway and this is the two and a half inch by nine feet wired ribbon I grabbed one of those. Um, oh, I just love these, and I, I had to get them. Um, I probably won't be doing any kind of a Halloween party, which kind of sucks because I did Halloween parties back when my kids were younger, and then also my parents every year would put on a Halloween haunted house uh, where some of the family members were actors in the haunted house, and then we'd have other family members and friends come and go through the haunted house it was so fun um, and hopefully one of these days I can get back to doing that myself but anyway I found these um, it says creep it real paper plates so these I just love these I think these are so cool I love them um, it kind of sucks because you only get 18 in here but I mean I guess a dollar for 18 of them isn't too bad but I just love them. But these would be really cute um, on a, at a Halloween party if you have like a buffet table set up and you can have everybody grab them a Creep It Real paper plate. And then um, I loved these napkins. They kind of go with the, the whole thing with the, the paper plates because the paper plates have that uh, spider web detail there and then the spider. And then you've got the napkins that match and there are 20 napkins in here so anyway i thought those were really cool so i probably will set this up on um, on my coffee bar just so i don't know i can have maybe a piece of coffee cake and a cup of coffee <laughs> but anyway so there's that and i don't know if they had these last year or not i don't remember seeing them but they are cookie cutters and these were the only two that my dollar tree had but i just love these i love the Halloween shapes. I love the jack-o'-lantern, the bat, the little cat. And then this one has a skull, a ghost, and then the tombstone. So I thought these were really, really cool. I just love them. So anyway, I'll be excited to make some Halloween cookies.
Okay, so the next things that I picked up are these, and they are the felt shapes, and you get 12 in here, and they had different ones. They had, um, I believe there was a cat, a ghost, and I think a bat. I think those were the only ones that um, my Dollar Trees had, but so I went ahead and grabbed the fat ones. Now, you get 12 in here, and they are felt shaped, so... Um, I know a lot of people, and I did this last year on my front porch, where I took some, Walmart had some paper um, bats that looked like they were cut out of construction paper, and you got several in there, and then, you know, how people will have them on their wall or whatever, it looks like a flock of bats flying up, and that's what I did to my front porch last year, but since they were paper, if it rained or anything like that, it would ruin the bats. So this year I thought I would try the felt ones and see if they worked any better. Um, so I'm going to take this out of the package, but I mean, I'm supposed you could do all kinds of stuff with them, but, um, the only thing is, is that like the paper ones that you got, uh, that you could get from Walmart, I think even Target sells them, but the ones that I got last year, they were all different size bats. So they, I went from tiny bats to big, uh, you know bigger bats, but these are all the same the same size But anyway, I still will probably be able to go ahead and do the same Sort of similar thing where it looks like a whole flock of bats coming up <laughs> But anyway, so I grabbed those thinking that maybe they might work a little better since they are felt they're not paper um, if I do stick them outside at least if it rained or uh, You know the weather got to them. It might not hurt them as bad so Anyway, I thought I'd try those, and then um, I'm going to be doing a DIY, and I needed some of this um, mesh, and it's like, I don't know, it's like tulle, basically, but this is the, it's by Crafter Square, it's sparkle mesh, it's six inches by three yards, and I got the one that's black, and then it has um, a purple spider web on it. Uh, design on there. So um, I did get this for a DIY that I'm going to be doing. And then the last two things that um, I found, these are so cute. I don't think they had these last year, but they are these little creepy signs. And I just love these. There are so many things you can do with these. So um, you do get two in here. And this one says, welcome to our haunted home. And then the other one says, the witch is in. So I thought that was so cool. You can do all kinds of things with these. You can use them in a wreath or um, get a, um, like take the wire part off and then get, Dollar Tree has the, um, it's like a stand that you can put a picture on and it holds the picture and you can do that like set this down inside that little stand and put it on a tiered tray or um, just set it on I don't know your kitchen counter or whatever you wanted to do um, this one says eat drink and be scary and then it's the other one says um, spooky greetings so I thought this was really cute too so these were the only two that um, to choose from that my Dollar Tree's had. I don't know if they have um, any others that say anything else on them, but these were the two that mine had, and so I went ahead and grabbed them. I think they're really cool. So anyway, I believe that is the end of this haul, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't, because I would love to have you. Um, leave, leave me a comment down below and let me know which one of these things were your favorite. I hope that you all are having a wonderful day. I wanted to thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.